Je de Deleuze and Félix Guattari's philosophy is often very difficult to get a handle on because the terminology that they use seems not only confusing, but sometimes unnecessary. The full body of the earth, the body without organs, the assemblage, the intensity, whatever it may be. But it's important to recognize that Deleuze and Guattari are situated in a realm of postmodern philosophy. You have people like Foucault and Baudrillard, both of whom create some very obvious and very serious constraints on not only knowledge, but on difference for difference's sake, so to speak. With the idea of the discourse of Foucault, we have very limited constraints on what one can do and what one can be, which put a limitation on post-colonial studies that can be seen in, for example, Edward Said's work, where he points out that it really becomes difficult to think about the Orient being able to speak if the Orient as an entity is a sem is essentially only as a representation that the Occident creates and makes speak, so to speak. And in Baudrillard's philosophy too, there's an emphasis on the terror of the code and the endless proliferation of the model, that we've entered an age of reproduction and there is no longer production anymore because we essentially have these binary models, not too dissimilar from the discourse, where we can no longer really do anything but proliferate a nihilistic state where we are essentially acting out our own death, and that is what life has become, and that we fall into kind of nebulous things like consumerism and the Gulf War and both of these philosophers Foucault and Baudrillard create a difficult spot when we go into the political realm because it's unclear how are we really supposed to operate in the political sphere if this is essentially going to be caught in a simulacrum now, Deleuze and Guattari are trying to reinvigorate a sort of radical left politics of sorts. And even using the word left is maybe a bit unfair here because they want to make ontology rhizomatic, which is to say that it's going to follow the six principles of the rhizome. It's going to be commutable, it's going to be heterogen heterogeneous, it's going to be multiplicitous, it's going to tend to deterritorialize, uh, it's going to respect the principle of decalcomania, all this stuff that I've talked about in my lecture on the rhizome. But the important thing to note is that for Deleuze and Guattari, ontology is maximally social and contingent. Everything is related to everything else, such that there are no individual substances, but there are rather assemblages of intensities, and intensities are defined by their relation as intensive differences. They are present upon a field, and this field that they are present upon is the body without organs. Now, the body without organs is kind of difficult to conceptualize, but we actually get a fairly helpful example when they talk about the body of the earth and the full body of the earth. Now, and this is kind of interesting because Deleuze and Guattari's philosophy really is so... Um, it just crosses all boundaries of fields. It's philosophy, it's anthropology, it's sociology, it's linguistics, it's psychology, it's schizoanalysis, it's all of the above. But 
In terms of thinking about kind of the earth, they talk often about the nomad. And the nomad is defined by, yes, having a territory of sorts. It is going to scopically survey the territory and build temporary homes and localized points or singularities. But it is only going to use these singularities insofar as they are lines of flight or rather reinvigorate and make clear where the lines of flight are such that we can actually create and we can be engaged with the earth in a very primal way. And in this sense, Deleuze and Guattari are definitely naturalist in, in a sense. Only in a sense, though. But all of these singularities that are coming together, these are going to tend to create territories. Think of this as just the nomad finding a territory and deciding, you know what, I don't want to be a nomad anymore. I've got some water source here, like the Tigris and the Euphrates, and I'm going to settle down and turn into an agricultural crowd, early state formation. And what's going to happen here is all sorts of things which in the nomadic structure appeared very multiplicitous and almost random are now going to start to solidify themselves. And this is re-territorialization. Things are going to start to become stable and hierarchical and organized. And really, organization is not something Deleuze and Guattari are too fond of because for them... The rhizome is the better way of talking about ontology rather than an arborescent structure, a, like a tree-like structure with these definite roots that are going to structure what is able to burst forth. And instead, they want to think about things as pure multiplicities. They don't want to reduce ontology to a form of representation and structure in unity, which would be found in the state formation. Instead, they want to focus on nomadology or becoming nomad and becoming animal and returning to the earth, so to speak, in a very Nietzschean way. And this idea of the earth is a really great way of thinking about the body without organs because the body without organs is this plane of consistency, so to speak, where strata start to form. Strata, we can think of this as they talk about in the geology of morals. These strata, they come to be articulated doubly. And we could think of this as like the binary structure of Foucault or Baudrillard, that there's going to be these oppositions between sane and insane, citizen and non-citizen, civilized and savage and these binaries are going to define what it is to be within a discourse so on the earth there is always the potential and in fact these strata will occur and they will occur doubly there will they will be twofold and these strata just like the temporary territories of the nomad have the potential to create all these multiplicitous forms of geology, of mountains and rivers and troughs and peaks and valleys and whatever it may be. But the important thing to know is that like any structure that starts to stand out on the earth, it is defined by strata that start to create a very definite territory. Things start to get re-territorialized and built up in these stratified columns such that the earth starts to get turned into a negative background upon which the positive structures of geology come about. 
But Deleuze and Guattari want to say no. Instead of thinking of the earth as a negative background, they want to think of the earth as the zero point. It's the point of zero intensity upon which intensities carry themselves out. And we can think of this, at one point they talk about this in the second plateau, 1914, One or Several Wolves. They talk about the fact that the tree has rhizomatic structures and the rhizome has arborescent structures. That there is always the possibility for both deterritorialization and re-territorialization always in every structure. And in this sense, newness is bred not only into these very definite, stratified, even despotic structures, but also the rhizomatic structures will tend to conglomerate and turn into despotic structures. So there's a real play here that dis, it, it's about being discontinuous and not obeying any structural law, so to speak. And when we're talking about the earth, we can think about, oh, it's got these mountains and trees and all these definite forms that start to come out. But this unity that we feel like we see, for example, we feel like our habits are fairly consistent. But when we zoom out a little bit, we'll see that actually most of the things which are are rather disordered and chaotic, thus the emergence of chaos theory in really kind of it's really developed in the 21st century, but it's been present before that. But when we zoom out and we look at, for example, the Earth-wide view, we see that actually the Earth is merely this stage upon which assemblages are functioning. And it would be a terrible misstep to get to this point and say, that the earth is the mere stage, the sort of negative point of articulation from which positive territories result. No, of course, the earth is the territory itself. I mean, this is, this is silly to think about. And thus, as the territory is affected, the earth itself is being affected. And thus, any state formation that is affected any trend that is affected by being connected to the earth in this way, in this nomadic versus despotic structuration, we are rhizomatically engaged with the full body of the earth, the body without organs, which is the earth, which is not only the background, but the very milieu within which we function in Deleuzean ontology as a rhizomatic structure, as a non-hierarchical, multiplicitous assemblage of intensities. So I hope this has just given you some food for thought with connecting various ideas of Deleuzean Guattari's and maybe given you some clarity on some concepts that might have seemed a little bit strange and allowed you to see how their language connects in various ways. So that's it, and I'll see you in another lecture.